showing you guys my eight essential pieces for my short girls out there. So these are eight pieces that I gravitate towards when I don't know what to wear, if I'm going to be in a new situation and I want to be most comfortable and confident. Are you bloated? Maybe like you just feel mm, some type of way. These are the eight pieces that I gravitate towards. So the first thing is a pair of your go-to denim. At the moment, my go-to pair are from Rag & Bone. Cropped jeans, meaning they're supposed to be a little bit above the ankle, but because I'm short, they're like the perfect length jean. Because they're not like a basic jean, there is stuff to them. A little flare on the bottom, the fact that they're high-waisted, the wash. If you don't know what to wear and you put these on, it'll make your outfit look like an actual outfit, not just kind of clothes you threw on. Um, another thing I love about these jeans is the bum part. They make your butt just look Mm. Brad Contreras who? Even though I'm short, I love wearing high-waisted things. Even if you're short, you have to play with your own proportions. So for instance, even though I'm short, I actually have a little bit longer legs compared to my upper body. But I still am short because they're just super easy for me. I can wear them with any shoe because they're at like a good length. So I can wear them with heels, sneakers, booties. If it goes tight enough to your ankle, these will look good with booties. But if they don't, it's going to make your leg kind of look weird, which... We, it's all about elongating the body. So the next go-to piece for me is an all-in-one option. You really don't have to think about the outfit past this. You can put things underneath this part, kind of like an overall vibe. Seven for all mankind, and I love it just because it's it's like a jumpsuit. That's what it is. It's called a jumpsuit. Love traveling with this. If you're going to something more dressy, it's really easy to just pop a pair of heels on with this. It's easy to make it look casual and relaxed. Um, this is actually a few sizes too big, but when I saw it, I was like, I want it anyway. Actually, if you're a short girl and you're doing something like that, make sure there's something that you can like show your shape in. So because you're not long and flowy, you're a short stump. You know what I'm saying? So like you have to be able to show your curves. So I love a good all-in-one piece, and this one is so comfortable. I'm not sure if it's because the denim is like a really nice light denim, maybe because it's like flared at the bottom and it's nice loose. Because it's like a jumpsuit, it's all denim. It looks very fashiony. You have a few outfit options all within this one jumpsuit. Could dress it up if you wanted to, but you can also wear it casually. So I like pieces like this that appear more casual. And that's something I really struggle with because I always feel like I'm overdressed, but I just don't want to stick out like a sore thumb. So I like making myself be able to kind of mold more to my situation, but still keep my own flair. So that's why I love the denim jumpsuit. So yes, a nice fitted trench coat. And what I love about trench coats is you can really dress them up or down, meaning you can definitely wear a hoodie under this coat and it will look casual, but like the jacket instantly makes it look more chic. I like this one because it's not too long. Sometimes trench coats will, are pretty long. If you don't want to spend the extra moolala on the Burberry one, which I do recommend, if you are willing to invest in pieces, I definitely think this is a great investment piece. Banana Republic does make some really good trench coats. Also 100% recommend them as a company because they have a petite section. Banana Republic is super underrated. I find a lot of pieces I like there. It can also be transitioned into the other seasons. So Burberry trench coats are classic. Like I can point them out in a crowd. This jacket has so much going on, like I couldn't even explain to you all the different ways you could style this one jacket. I recommend that you find yourself a key trench coat, not too long, because sometimes too long it can A, look too dressy, and B, just kind of look like a blanket on you, especially if you're short, because it's just like swallowing you. So make sure you get it that is a little bit shorter. This one's from Topshop. I have this exact one in white also. The reason why I wore these probably at least every other day last summer when I was in California at least every other day if not every single day is because the short length is perfect for me it's really hard to find shorts that aren't short shorts like super short and because like I said you have an athletic build so I have bigger thighs having to like pull your shorts down constantly is just unattractive one because it's just like you're pulling down your shorts and it's annoying and like Chafing. No one likes chafing. So I have yet to find a pair of shorts that aren't too long or too short. I can't find them that are like that good length that you don't have to constantly keep pulling down but that look good and not like Bermudas. Because the look of overalls, you can get away with a longer short and it looks kind of 
it looks like the look like you're going for. It doesn't look too off. My style is more wearing them down. When you put them up, like, it's a look you have to commit to. My cousin, she has a pair of overalls that she wore last summer too. And she wear them, she wears them with like these grandpa sweaters. But it's like a look, like it's her look. I actually really like it. I vibe with it really like a lot. I could never pull it off, but like she looks great in it and overalls up. For me, when I do overalls up, I just feel like a big baby. And if you have it fold down, this section right here, the stomach, gets covered. So you know, if, if you're feeling a little bit bloated or you just planning on eating a lot at dinner, boom, your go-to outfit. Okay, next on my list is a good fitted pair of trousers. These don't fit very well. These used to fit amazingly on me, but since I've lost weight, I need to get them taken in because they don't just fall like they need to fall. I really love trousers because they instantly make you look older. <laughs> that sounds really dumb, but like when you're short, I feel like people more think you're younger than you are. Last time I wore these to a coffee shop when I was going to study, some guy asked me if I was in grad school. So like knowing that he thought I was in grad school and people usually think I'm in high school, it's 100% the trousers. Young people don't tend to wear trousers, let alone like nice fitted tailored trousers. So as far as trousers go, if you don't want to go down the path of going and getting a tailored culottes, and that's what these are, tend to be shorter. Then you won't have to worry about them being tailored to fit your leg length, but you can just worry about they fit your hips and your waist. Okay, now next I wanna talk about hoodies. This isn't like a short girl type thing, this is an everyone type thing, but if you want to be comfortable but stylish, you can find those types of hoodies. Like if I wanna wear a hoodie but not look frumpy because it's super easy to do, and again, because broad shoulders, big chest, like you instantly look like big and boxy and it's not like cute and chic. This one is from Adidas. Um, please don't come for me on how I say Adidas. Like people in one of my videos I made constantly correct me on how I say it. It just depends on where you're from. I grew up around foreign people. My grandmother's Japanese. My coaches were Russian and Chinese, Polish. Like I learned how to say Adidas like that so don't come for me on my pronunciation and it has nice royal blue detailing in like the hood it's heathered with the same blue that's on all these details so it's like a good looking sweatshirt it has a nice little mock neck which makes it look more like athleisure my other suggestion is actually downstairs because i filmed this yesterday I ended up wearing that hoodie and then I just dropped it downstairs. And here's what I have to tell you about that. How I like to style that hoodie particularly, as opposed to this one that has like good shape, it looks like it was designed very nicely, but this champion one that I have, I got it off eBay, it was actually a suggestion off a male YouTuber, I don't remember whose video it was. If you want to make a hoodie like that look more fashion-y, um, A, you can tuck it in in the front. I say A, B, I list things off a lot like that, but I think that's how I do school. So pair it with hoops, accessorize if you want to wear a hoodie, because that's the easiest way to dress it up. And you don't want it to look like hobo -y. Accessorize, make sure your hair and your makeup look, because if you're going to be lazy down here, you have to try up here, you know what I'm saying? At least that's what I like to do. Another key thing that I like to do when I'm wearing hoodies is make sure it's a pop of color. And, like this one is a good true red color. It makes it pop, it's not so dreary. Also, if you are a short girl, if you have weird proportions, feel free to look in the men's section, but just look at the extra small and the smalls. Like I said, for me, I have broad shoulders, so the men's tend to fit my shoulders a little bit better, but the sleeves are always like outrageously long. like. I don't think guys' arms are that long, so I'm not 100% sure why the sleeves are always so long. You can definitely dress up hoodies. You can wear them with jeans and heels. I've seen that been done before. But something that I loved doing last fall with my hoodies is when you tuck it into your jeans, I liked wearing a logo belt, and I feel like that instantly made it a little bit more dressy. If you see a Salvatore Ferragamo like logo belt, it doesn't matter what you're wearing anywhere else. Like It's instantly going to look fancy. The leather jacket. Now, I think leather jackets are essential to every male and female's closet. And I found my first love of leather jackets on the first season of The Vampire Diaries. So this one particularly is from Muba. I think everyone needs a good leather jacket. This again is something else. 
you're gonna have to try on copious amounts of leather jackets till you find the one. Zara actually tends to have a great selection of leather. What I love about leather is that it looks good the longer you own it. Since I beat this thing up, not like beat it up, but like I fold it, I roll it, and when I travel with it, I just like fold it in all different types of directions because I wanted to break down the leather and make it more soft and worn it. A good nice leather jacket that hasn't been beat up though is also nice. What I love about leather jackets is you can be you can literally wear any outfit you want. It's like you have style because you have a leather jacket. It's great for a lot of different weather situations. Leather jackets are my favorite jackets to wear on my shoulders. If you are a jacket wearer on your shoulders, leather is my go-to because of the shoulder, how they're usually like cut and because it's heavy it usually like cups and falls on your shoulders nicely so you can still like use your arms you know one thing I have to say about this one particularly is I like the body length but the sleeves are just just like a tad bit too long usually because there's a zipper I'll unzip it and then you can like fold up the wrist part but for the most part like what are you gonna do so if this angle looks slightly different from all the other footage thus far is because I was just editing this and I noticed that I missed one item that is essential to this entire video. I talked about it yesterday um, when I was filming this yesterday, but that footage got corrupted, so I'm refilming it. And I took this blouse downstairs and I didn't have it lined up with all the other things in my closet, so I kind of forgot. But a nice feminine chic blouse. I love this one from Realization Par because it's cropped, but it's not too short. It has nice chest button closure, depending on your chest situation. It's three quarter length sleeve so you don't have to worry about the sleeves being too long. This boss from Realization Part is really good go-to for me because it fits me amazingly. Like it just looks really good on my body. I can wear this with nearly any pant and it looks very nice. So having like a comfortable blouse I think is essential. It doesn't have to be this one per se, but I do like this one because it's a perfect amount of cropped. I love the sleeve length and just the wrappness of it makes it look so chic and beautiful. So I love this one. I actually really want to get one in another color. But yes, I love this blouse. Even though it is expensive, I think it is worth it. And I debated getting this for a long time and when I finally took the leap, now I'm obsessed. It looks so effortless and it's really comfortable. Everyone needs this blouse in their closet because it is so comfy for what it looks like. I ended up with a size medium and I really like it. I have broad shoulders, big boobs, love the medium for me. So yeah, those were my eight key items that I think everybody needs in their closet. This is was more geared towards all my short girls out there. I got inspired to make this video because I feel like a lot of the people I watch, I find out how tall they are and I'm like, well, that's why I could never wear that. So I wanted to start sharing videos with you guys who are shorter on how I I approach fashion. I am short. I'm 5'2", which I actually didn't think was that short, but everyone always tells me it's short, so I guess it is. So I thought it would be fun to kind of start like a different side to where it's still fashion, but it's a little bit more narrowed down. So that was the entire video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys would like to follow me on any of my social media, it's just Caroline Eliza on everything. Um, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to see more of yours truly, that would be groovy. Thank you guys so much for letting me share these items with you guys. I hope you liked it and I hope you can grab some inspiration from it. Other than that, I will talk to you guys next time.